Ashto T11 covers determination of the amount of material finer than the number 200 sieve by washing. Procedure A describes washing with plain water, while Procedure B includes the use of a wetting agent. Please remember that Procedure B is used only when specified. Otherwise, always use Procedure A. For this procedure, you will need a balance readable to 0.1% of the sample mass or better, a number 200 sieve, and to protect it from damage, a larger sieve ranging from a number 8 to a number 16. A container of sufficient size to hold the entire sample covered with water and permit vigorous agitation without loss or spillage, and an oven capable of maintaining a temperature of 230 plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Obtain the sample in accordance with Ashto T2 and reduce to testing size in accordance with Ashto T248. If the same sample is to be tested according to T27, be sure the minimum sample mass meets the specified requirements for that method. Otherwise, use the table in section 6.2 to determine the minimum mass of the test sample. When reducing the field sample to testing size, remember that reduction to an exact predetermined mass is not permitted. Now, let's look at the testing procedure. We'll wash a fine aggregate sample by hand, and then a coarse sample using a revolving drum washer. Begin by drying the test sample to a constant mass at 230 plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Record the mass of the dry sample to the nearest 0.1% and transfer the material to a suitable container for washing. Anytime you transfer material from container to container, use a brush to get all fines. Carefully add a sufficient amount of water to cover the sample completely. Remember, add only plain water when using method A. Before using any sieves, make sure they are cleaned of foreign objects and residual material. Assemble the nest of sieves with a number 200 on the bottom and the coarser protective sieve on the top. With your hands or a suitable utensil, agitate the sample with sufficient vigor to bring the fine particles into suspension, but not so great as to cause degradation of the coarse particles. Take care to avoid spillage and the resulting loss of fines. Immediately pour the wash water containing the suspended fines over the nest of sieves. Try not to let any coarser particles escape the container. Add another charge of water and repeat the agitation and decanting process. Continue in this manner until it becomes evident that fine particles are no longer being suspended during agitation. Flush all material retained on the sieves back into the sample container. While flushing, keep the water pressure low enough to avoid the loss of any material and make sure no water escapes the container. Dry the washed aggregate to a constant mass at a temperature of 230 plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit and record the mass to the nearest 0.1% of the original mass of the sample. Now, we'll use the same procedure on a sample of coarse aggregate using a mechanical washer. The sample is dried to a constant mass at 230 plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit and the mass recorded to the nearest 0.1%. It may be necessary to transfer the sample to a container more suitable for loading the mechanical washer. Carefully load the sample into the washing device. Cover the sample with plain water. When using a mechanical washer, the charging and decanting of water may be continuous, as shown here. The revolving drum is tilted at an angle that allows the water holding the suspended fines to continuously flow over the nested sieves. When the wash water becomes clear, decant as much water over the sieves as possible without losing any of the coarse particles. Transfer all the material from the washer into a suitable container for drying. Carefully flush the finer material into the container. Remove any coarse particles from the upper sieve and return them to the sample container. Smaller particles may be flushed directly into the container 
or in order to reduce the amount of water to be evaporated, they may be flushed into the number 200 sieve. Flush the material retained on the number 200 sieve thoroughly before returning it to the sample container. Be sure to return all the material retained on the sieves to the washed sample. Dry the washed sample to a constant mass at 230 plus or minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit and record the mass to the nearest 0.1% of the original mass of the sample. To calculate the amount of material passing the number 200 sieve by washing, you will need to set up a simple formula. We will call the answer we're looking for A. The original dry mass of the sample, that is the dry weight before washing, we will call B. And the dry mass of the sample after washing will be C. The formula looks like this. A equals B minus C divided by B times 100. The operations must be performed in the right order, so begin by taking the original dry weight, B, and subtracting the final dry weight, C. Then, divide that quantity by the original dry weight, B, and multiply the result by 100, or simply move the decimal point two places to the right to get your final answer. If your answer came out to be less than 10%, report the result to the nearest 0.1%. If your answer came out to be 10% or more, report the result to the nearest whole number. And make sure your report includes a statement as to which procedure was used. For more details on the most recent specifications, consult the latest AASHTO publication, which may be ordered by calling 202-624-5800 or online at transportation.org.